What's going on guys, James here, and welcome back to more Team Mod Racing Manager World Championship of Play Play 1. For the third race of the season then guys. So last time we did we did a British Grand Prix at Supercell where the win went to finish the mirror. Well, we got the full time from Prince in that race, but unfortunately Team and Manager have a problem with his engine. And unfortunately he did not face any points unfortunately though, I mean he did not score any points in that race unfortunately though. So after the race though, Credit's Wizard in the driver champion but it's one place I'm sorry, Uso though got second both got second place and third in the first race though. The first out in fourth and fifth, I think that may be in the second race though, I think, yeah. I'll be first he dropped down the third and I tied the same points Peter Moon. Well Andy Cos in third of Trevor, who was in sixth playing Josie President is in seven hundred Max Jones. Well, we're doing well so far after that done after two races though. Premier Racing, we're, that's us, we're leading by just one point we ain't got Donkey Racing. Two Racing and Naughty Racing, we're all tied together. Super Allen Racing on six, had a green power racing, we all tied on third point. Wilson Bunch I haven't seen eight, Toronto Naughty Racing ninth, and Sub Racing on last place in seventh place though, so yeah. So, we're in order to monitor Italy though for the Italian Grand Prix though, so hopefully we get this one for this, so yeah. So, two races in, and we can win nothing, and we're going to level one though, so yeah. I'm going to chase the match there after race number one, this is the final answer. So, we've got some battle 46 scores for that though. Anyway, so, we might get some more cash, or actually, that's only just the, oh, that's only my customer. Oh, no, 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 after the race in this place, so let's do this now. Let's go. 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 let us go so let's see what they could do in Italy for the Italian Grand Prix to try get some points on the board though. I was part of the keeping around for the rest of the season then. Let's try and drive what we're going to have for next season guys. So let's try, let's train our drivers to do some overtaking though. And train on the, um, I think I might train a lot though. So let's Where do you know that? So, um, are we can't impress it. What's you? We might hire him, let's see. If we hire Bud you, then we have to. Um, fair young driver, so, Bud Yoon will be the third driver for this, yeah. Anyway, we we'll get ready for the next race, though, and if it does, let's get into that thing, guys. Let's just begin this third race, then. So, Let's head off to Italy though in Monza. So he's only around for the championship though. We're nearly halfway through the season so far. Been two races there. We start top for the Italian Grand Prix, which is at the Auto Joint Monza circuit. So welcome to Monza. So we really love this Italian Grand Prix track though with the barriers there. So going to the last win the first two corners though. It's gonna be very tricky around this track though. But let's see how will Monza do for this. It's a very good circuit to try to overtake though. So a bit of a trees though, that a bit like pine trees to me. And there's go there's the old circuit then, which is used from the early 50s. I mean, never that. Let's start the qualification though for the Italian Grand Prix. Oh, we've got some rain coming in 25 minutes, but it's fine for that though. We'll be set for soft tires though. We'll be set for dry times of this one though, so we'll be all right for dryers. I think that will be for slick tires though. So we'll be something for this. So yeah. As uh, all the drivers out there right now, Tronic, United Racing are out as well. So, um, we've got Q Racing, we've got the win from last time now. we've got the other one Racing. Um, oh, I forgot about that team, I think it was Kiwi Racing, oh, maybe not. We've got um, Force One Racing, and we have the Green 2, which is Green Force, yeah. And we've got Cyber Racing, Uso Racing Team, and yeah, and what else? Um, the United Team. So, hopefully, it's going to be very good for that, though. So, 
Mike Charles are out there right now, just got the lap right now in the tree for the Italian Grand Prix down. So let's see how will this track do well for the Mike Charles after two rounds of championship done. Well, Curtis leading the championship. Second Trevor Day in sixth place. So Curtis leading the championship at just one point now. So let's see what he can do for this race then. Trevor Tony Killers are doing well in the moment right now. So going to the score is a cane then, so we head towards Parabolic, which is the final part of this, this real life truck in Italy go. So hopefully this will be very good at the time from previous will be. As Trevor goes second place and the most is going to take it back to the Aaron Dullers beat them so the woman won at five. So so she's on so the United Race is running United Race on pole. My game is only goes further in my mind now. So it's Aaron Dunnas for the Tonic United Racing team indeed. So the Tony United Racing are doing well to keep this up. Yeah, so you got everybody. Well, actually, to be a boot for the Green Power Racing Team, it's gone on the Storm Pole. Hedesoy Usla, who's in second place in the championship right now, he qualifies in second place. So he's going to have a chance to pick the the champion after this race is finished. So, Sobi Usla, who is winning the second play, actually, his teammate, her teammate, Tommy, got a second beat her then. So, he, so both Usla racing drivers, second and third in the championship so far. So in this way, actually in this qualifying session for this stuff, for this one, we only got five and a half minutes left to go with this session. We did the have on par, I just Tammy Usa and Sully Usa in third. We repeated Mirror and Curtis only six, and Trevor only just 14. That's a disappointment lap from him, so he's got lots of time to find some ground here. So yeah. So so the Abri has gone fast as though, so that's very good. Tammy in second place and Sully in third, so yeah. It's very nice indeed. Technically, live times down again. So, we'll let Max Jr. semi out. Both of the black cars who are uh, the pocket of the pack does. So, yeah. I'm not good for that. Abbey Pierce is the winner of the Australian Grand Prix. He's winning ninth. Peter Mid, the last race winner, is in fourth place. And next week, again, they will win at the season so far and take the lead to the championship from Curtis Rocks. So, yeah. <laughs> So 29 to race are not leading on Ponyma. They're driving in 5th and 11 in the moment right now. So not good for that though. So yeah. So did they have police on pole? But unless can someone stop them. So we'll send down Trevor again. But this time they'll set up the car right there for Curtis which to get more dirty down. Okay, so he's, he's out now, so let's see what he can do. Um, there's a black car in the way, so she's fine. So what would the red car do? He brings them out the way dead, so they're on their out. He's always out loud, they're on their flying up though. So, just only just three minutes left to go now. Of this set of, of this Italian Grand Prix in Monza. So, due to the boot, he's on a 1 minute 4.81. That's time to beat. Tammy is in second place. Sorry in the other, both of the Uslers are in second and third. But both and the sister have the same name together, like they have their family together for the whole team. As uh, Trevor now begins his last time, but he's 18 minutes. As Peter Moon's on pole now! He is beating Didier Boot by the 7th of a second. So Peter Moon, the winner of the British Grand Prix, has that's the pole from Didier Boot. So. The winner of the British Grand Prix in Silverstone, Peter Murray is on pole, his teammate Manuel Gillis in 13th place, so this could all change the championship though if he gets another win here in Monza. As uh, Sheriff uh, going to try to came then, so his time was 1 minute 7.22, that was the worst lap here so far, and oh he has a bit of a look at him for that card there, but can he put on this lap though, let's see a look. And it doesn't put on it, it's a 1% zone. Oh, actually, it's in 17 and 14, though, so not good. And Curtis stays 6 faster, so there's only just one minute left to go, but can either of them improve their lap?
So going into Sorry to Kane then. So all about the tire, the two purple, round the five corner goes Trevor, and would he put on the slap combo? Let's take a look. And he does, and he goes 11, what good off him in, what about Curtis? And he goes, only just not prove on his own and stays six faster, so... Well... I guess that's it, that's it though. So, Peter Moon, the winner of the British Grand Prix, has got the pole again. So, the winner of the British Grand Prix has got the pole position, so... This could be a good exciting race we're going to have for this one. We have seven cars we're tying in the first race though, in Australia and another in the British Grand Prix though. So, as we get ready for this race then guys, who's going to win it though? So, that's very nice that would be, so yeah. <laughs> Alright then, so, all the laptops has been done then, but what a good lap from Sorry and, Ta and Tame. They've filled up the second world for the Usain Racing Group team. So, the team who in second row, so Andrea will join Curtis on the third row. How an extra seventh place though, and only undefined on 19 players, and Max Judge on the back of the field though, so not good work for him, for the team as his team as well. And it looks like it's raining right now, it's heavy rain here at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix, just like in 2008. The track's got a bit dark a bit though, so, so Peter Moe, could he take the lead of the championship from Curtis Wilk? Did he have booties alongside on the former? That is both Sorry and Tommy on the second one. And they will be hand wedged in fifth. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I think... Oh, actually, no, no, no. I remember that. No, no, no. That's... I don't know. It's actually, though. Because hand is in the purple card, so he's blue. Um, I think I don't know is using the purple card, though. Um, I think that won't be a little more than just behind Curtis, I think, though. So... Way to go though, to begin this Italian Grand Prix, but who will win this race though? So, could Peter Mill lead off from the start though? Let's find out. And we'll go in Italy, and he does get a great start though. Did he have Bert try to hold off Sorry and Tammy for second place though? It looks like Sorry will make the move as well, and he gets past. As Bill Connor's is going through turn one there, Kurt is making his move right now. Peter Moon's still in the lead, and Bill trying to go on the grass there. Kurt is his third place though. Let's see what's going on in the back of the field though. Oh, oh Trevor got on the grass there. So my driver, my second driver has just lost a bit of time there. Bit of a lock up there. And oh, who that's going on the track there? That might be quick to the boot, I think that is. So the man in second place though. He's trying to find back over to the third place. Though. He can't, he's still going on the grass though. Oh, this is, this is been a terrible start to Didier Boots race here in Italy. Gone on, on the track twice and got into the gravel and the grass. So Didier Boots from second down to seven on the first side. He gets past back, but could he get past um, Han Wentz there as Trevor gets past Han Wentz. But would Han Wentz always go on the grass there? So that will get that Han Wentz through. And Didier Boots gets past him as well. And he gets, and he, oh, whoa, 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 my word, goodness me. Whoa, my word, Didier Boog has just got past both Ham Wentz, Cody Riz, and Tame to slot back into third place. What a good move, for a good triple overtake from him. What a good look. He doesn't like Lewis Hampton did in the trade 18 bar in Grand Prix. What a good triple overtake that was from him. As Tame takes fourth place from Curtis for four, means that Peter Mill will lead the champion from Sorry at, if he stays like this. Trevor as quick as Lola Moina though. Gets past Trevor for seven. And uh, could he hold he hold it and all oh, he try it and he does and that will let Jet Lee and Jenny first round. Oh, oh my word, what's happening to my driver, Trevor? Oh my word, a bit of couple of places going on indeed. Alan Donaz and Nick Steel both start the way of nine the points now after their disappointment both disappointed double the time in the last race in Britain though. And they're now in the points now again in Italy. Oh big lock up in big mistake on the grass there from Jenny Throne. That'll lost that'll give her time lost for this. Curtis Wu is now back into fifth place though. Has hand ways cutting the back to Tammy. Oh, he's got the grapple trying to get past Tammy there. 
Meanwhile, Lola's trying to make a move on her west and only oh, could get past him. Oh, Bogoka does the curtain and that was that her car and also that her wrist grow. And also that can grow through as well as the cyber race has just got there as oh! Jay Broker just from collided. Sunside coming in 50 minutes time as both Trevor gets part both the side where he gets part both Nick Steele and Jet Lee. But can he hold it there? Yeah, he gets past both the cyber racing drivers, so he got past Jet Lee and Nick Steele. Be a tough day for these two drivers after their disappointed double retirement in Silverstone. As through goes Chris Chris Stone. What extra move gets past one of the cyber racing drivers that might be Nick Steele. Well, give me oh big look up there for Trevor Curtis and maybe the time I'll be wearing off for him. Well, look up there for my driver star after the first few laps of the racing though. Peter Mins do help to lead the race though. So he's in second place to the airport third. Lola just passed how much for best time he's losing the place there. And now he's and now he's and now he's got and now he's, he's got James Fra on his tail. So you need to look to the back of this and then he has. As we go through the next hander there, I'm at five does. This is the 18th operation we need to lead there. Oh, tell me a big mistake for him. As would this give the position to. Nope. Oh, look like Cowboy's going to make a move on Tammy. But I don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I just got past Tammy, I think. Or oh, I don't know. No, not my Jane's time. We're trying to get past him, I think. So, yes. That was Jane for trying to get past the back of Tammy, but unfortunately, that's not her type. So, yeah. Cloudy and sun, sunny and cloudy in 30 minutes time, so it looks like we're going to have a change of weather by the race though, but it's going to be a high pressure water level though, for see, as one of the subways went on the track that, that, would jet, that was Jet Lee. So my driver went in 8th and 9th right now, so that's 6 championship points that will be if it stays like this. Chris has tried to hold up both the subways to try to hold up for the last place position. But look at the lead that Peter Mir has from Zoe. A bit of bad guy off the third. That was Ronald Marino and Didier Boot there battling it off the third. As Jay Tomo just got past Tammy for sixth place then. So that was her obviously sixth place there. That's him, that's actually him going up to sixth place out of that one day. I don't know whether he can see it about this lead yet. So when he get going to try to get so he's not like he's going to try to put. I better try to keep this up. Alright, so Tommy sees a little like he's running very in seventh place at the moment right now, but here comes Curtis Walks and Trevor, both my driver, but here comes Chris to join the battle as well. As uh, Tammy's making a bit of a traffic queue, train queue then. But can I try to get past him? So Curtis will be first. And he does so. What a good move that was from him. Bit of a grass there. And, and also that was that my other, my other driver, Trevor, get past Tammy as well. What about Chris? So he's trying to make the move as well. And he looks like he gets past Tammy. And also wants to make a move on my other driver, Trevor. Oh no, that's Trevor got past Curtis Brooks there. So. Curtis gets past, past Curtis there, and Trevor is in seventh place for nine hundred down on that might be Jenny Tyrone well, that will be for sixth place. Chris down a bit to eighth place there as Curtis dropped down to ninth place though. Trevor in seventh place now. Let's go back to Curtis though. Big luck up there, and would I was losing out to Chris Chris Stone. Chris does running in ten in. A play that oh big lock up that might be Tommy having the battle with both the sideways. He he's locked up both between Jet Lee and Nick Steele. What's happening to Tommy's card though? I don't know what's happening to him in this Italian Grand Prix though. Looks like the car's got a bit of a problem though on the 40. 
There's nothing to do about this now. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a problem with the car, unfortunately, though. So that will be game over, though, for Tammy, though. If he has more problem like this. We're halfway for the race right now. Peter May in a comfortable lead, then for nine seconds to gap to Zoe. Then seven seconds to Lola. Hand raising fourth. And fifth face to the Abolt. Has he been overtaken by hand raising for fifth? I mean, for four players, actually, he does. Sorry about that, then, guys. That was about the four players that was. They go back to the action again, Doug. Curtis Wood, he's still trying to find a way, then. Still everywhere here in the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. So the Austrian D Monza so it's very hard for these driving on wet tyres. So as Chris Dunn has been overtaken by Chris Curtis Wood, my driver has got it. Doug gets past one of the drive, one of the green power racing team, and that was Chris Dunn. He gets past then. So that's Curtis, my driver Curtis is into a player and hopefully he might lose the championship to Peter Moon if he wins this, if he stays out there, if he wins this race for the team. I hope he's, you know, I'm not doing pistols as I think we have. Or oh, pick up lock up there, that was from Trevor there. As Chris Dunn dares, as Han Wentz has got a problem with the car, winning four plays. Oh my word. So. Han Wen has struck again after what happened in Silverstone though. He had a problem there. Oh, there he is. And Jenny, oh, Jenny Time World trying to get past him to make a move, but this time he's made a... But Han Wen is making a big cue as he's trying to battle with, with Jenny Time World there. He wants to keep that for bad. That was like Chris Dunn throw. Unbelievable scenes there. Han Wen has let Chris Dunn pass as he gets past... Both my drivers and Jenny Tom. Wow, what a great move that was from Chris Dow. He's now into fifth place away now. What a great move that was from here. A good double eight that was from Chris Dow. What a good triple overtake that was after Dear Boot did from the second lap though of this race. What a good race that was from the green team though. What a good race they're having for this track though. Moving to a point tyres though, all the players are going to get underway right now. Um, Han Wayne has retired on 14 though, so we're going to check if it's Peter Mays coming to pits or not. Yeah, so, we're going to pit for wet tyres though, because the track is still probably wet though. So, we'll get into order to pit for wet, yeah. Yeah, pit now. So I need to find my two players, guys, though. So people know we we going away in first place, though. So is anyone going to come into pits, though? Actually, some of them might stay out there if they wanted to. Or no, they're in about a moment. They're coming in off it there. You bet, yeah. There are. 7.3, 7 .3 to my driver's then. So where are they going to be joining? Oh, Trevor was winning fifth place. What about Trevor? We're joining eighth place. So they, as Trevor made the position from Diddy and Boot there, it's lost some time for the pit up though. And that let Chris to get the position there. As all the way is now in third place there, as Nick Steele has got problem with the car again. So the sideways are in trouble again after Australia and Britain. They are in trouble again in Italy though. But would Jet Lee try to hold up for the last point? As Og off the track goes Trevor, and that will let. Jenny Ty won't pass. Oh, what a big mistake that was on the grass for Trevor there. As here comes Jet Lee. He's the only one left there. He gets try to get past Curtis Woods there. And he does so. Uh, and he, oh, he's off the track. And that will let Curtis back through. Oh, big mistake that was from Jet Lee there. And this point for his teammate though, who's going to be out to raise him for Jito. Sammy Ho, who's way in like he's now in last place though, but unfortunately he's gonna retire as well, so no problem I think we go. Lap 31 now to pass for 18 after this Italian Grand Prix though. And Peter is doing this way though. Lawless closes the gap to sorry though, the gap is only just three seconds now as he's closing the gap to earn now for second place though. As Chris Stern battle is in, in four as Julia Boog gets past both of my driver, Trevor and Curtis. As here comes Jet Lee, he's the only one left now in this race though, for Cyber Waiting though, but can he make this move again? Well, last lap though, he made the mistake going into the Skies of Kane. He tried that move, but he did not work. He went off the track out of the grass section then, and unfortunately, it did not work for him and got in the gravel. 
Now, unfortunately, lost that position to my driver's then, so yeah. We're free to pull a bike again. So, three cars have to race right now. As Trevor closes the gap to the air boot, that's the bad for six point down. That's Jenny Tyrone slowing a bit then. As, oh no! Looks like my driver could have been retiring the car, he's got a car failure though, so yeah. Alright, set the tyres though. Sorry, sorry for that, Curtis. Save the tyres. Okay, no risk, no defense. Sorry for that though. Bring into the pits, mate. So the championship leader is out of the race, unfortunately. Though my driver, who was leading the championship after two rounds, unfortunately, he only left one after the British Grand Prix. Unfortunately, that is game over with him. Does Max join the other car, who joined the same, who joined his teammate on the side as well? As Peter Mill will now take the lead of the championship again. So, yeah. So, we mean that the championship leader is out of the race. I mean that Peter Mill will now lead the driver championship now, but we saw it who's slow now. Move on into second place during the championships too. Who will be soon be still in second place during the championship though. Lauren Moore is in third, Heather Christo and Jenny Tyro is in fifth. Another side has come out now, but it's due to stand by the fact though if this Italian Grand Prix though. Travis did anyone left now as cut into the time of the race. Uh, so trying to make a move on to the boot for sixth place. Now he's trying to go on this the car as he down. This is where Jelly tried to move to it and he gets past him. Good move from that. And I will have a fist up for the way of the straight Grand Prix. He's making his move on triple for sixth place. What a good one for the man who won the straight Grand Prix in Melbourne. He's now up to sixth place for the year donkey racing team. And that will help the walk. But that means good means that because that means that will they will lead the challenge to, to switch the challenge because one of my drivers, my pro race has retired, means that yeah, the other will take the lead of the team championship indeed. And what about the other team, the key racing team? They will move into second place in the driver championship in the constructed championship as well. They will drop down to third place in the team's championship as well. As we did that, so Trying to give me all these chance to try and win this race. So let's try and push hard and hopefully wear the tire softer to try and finish the race. So Kiwa will move over to second place because of the chubbies here as they go along the way. And we might drop down to third in the Champions League for Premier Racing then. I'm good for that though.